Hello, a lot. You lot, you lot, me fans, you lot. Ranching of files everywhere. Hello, hello, hello. Round of 16 in Lost Agama Cell continues. It's gonna be group H for you guys. Gonna have a PVZ. Um, the last of the first sets. And we're gonna have Stork against Quanro. This is a matchup I'm very looking forward to. We're gonna see all in all how it is that Stork manages, whether he's. Will we see whether he's um, out of his slump? Some sort of. Dis Apparently decided to just relax and get just high on his first gold after winning the o OSL last season. And we're going to see whether he's a little bit recovered from that, gone back to playing what he can play. Uh, Stork is not at all unfamiliar with the MSL later stages. He is has been a semi-finalist in the MSL more than once, I believe. And overall just done very well in tournaments. Of course, unfortunately, getting silver medals fairly, fairly frequently. We're going to see overall how he does manage against Quano here. It is his worst matchup, and to start off the map, Carthage is not going to really help him out. Uh, Quano, on the other hand, uh, Protoss is also his worst matchup at about 45%. We're going to see how he manages against Stork here. He is a slight surprise addition, but at the same time not that huge as a surprise. When you think about what kind of what the group he had, he had a group with... Three and two players, one player that's the first time ever gotten this far, and one player who just wasn't very, just wasn't at a very high level. Dr. K is not a guy that you really expect to get far at all, so it's no real surprise that Quando managed to get out of the group, and now he's in round 16, although he has a big hurdle in Stork against him. Even though Stork, this is Stork's worst matchup, Stork is still Stork, as in Stork is freaking awesome. And that is a very small TV, which I totally want. Damn. That is cool. That's right, uh, StarCraft, ahoy. Four, three, two, one, go. ZVP! It feels like I haven't seen a ZVP in a little while. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So this is going to be on Carthage, as I've already said. We're going to have at 11 o'clock, we're going to have Stork in brown as the Protoss. And at 5 o'clock, we are going to have the Zerg Quanro in... What is that? Purple. Right too. Purple, pink, I don't care. Don't care. You look the same to me. Well, I'm not colorblind. I'm just colorblind to girly colors. Nah, I'm kidding. So actually, I don't know. According to the Z right there, that looks very pink. Looks more pink than purple, but what do I care? It's going to be on Carthage. Very, very Zerg favorite map. We're going to see how Stork, uh, being the higher seed, shows uh, to get rid of Neo Harmony, I believe, instead of Carthage. And that is a rather early probe. Maybe not too early. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. I assume he's gonna go for a standard Forge Fast Expand. That's pretty much what you gotta do on this map. This is a highly... Yep, that's it. Is It needs what we're gonna see. We're gonna see what Quanro goes for. I'm not seeing a, anything from him so far. I think he's gonna go for a 12 hatch. So yeah, this map is very, very Zerg favored. Well, maybe not insanely, but quite Zerg favored. Quite Zerg favored. There's a lot of maneuverability. There are two ways, two different ways around to go to your opponent's base. So now actually we're going to see a early spawning pull. I believe that is a 12 over pull, I believe. And a gas as well. He probably built his overlord first and went for a spawning pull, followed by quick gas. So we're going to see a quick tech build by Quan right here to counter Stork's fast expansion. Fast forge, forge expand. Yeah, this, uh, this map, as I'm saying, has a huge, two large ways that you kind of like run around the middle to get your enemy's base. And there's also the middle, who, which is blocked by Zilna three to Zilnaga temples which you can break down to also open up yet another way and of course what really helps Zerg on this map especially if it goes a little bit late in the game for you know, coming up for Stork is that this map has expansions which are all gas so all that always comes in handy Stork ooh Stork takes out one drone there's a reason that fans are giving him an 85 2% to, to win oh man losing one, one drone sometimes when players when players practice they're like start playing and they're like if one player gets that early drone kill the other player goes uh, you got my first drone, you win. Never mind, let's restart. <laughs> so, you're gonna see, first Zergings are gonna be out now for Quanro. He's probably not gonna be in time to try to get past those cannons, though. Two cannons being set down by Stork in a pretty decent position. We're gonna see whether Quanro tries to do a run by anyway. Those cannons should be up in time, the probe. Definitely getting all the spot. One Zergling, two Zerglings, in fact, gonna focus on killing the probe rather than put any earlier pressure on Stork. No, never mind. Our other Zergings are gonna stay around and try to kill that probe off. 
Oh, Squander doing a pretty good job boxing in that probe, denying Stork any more scouts. Stork being actually, wow, Stork being very careful putting down three Photon Cannons, neglecting his expansion a little bit, but all in all feeling to be very careful. And with those, with that good cannon placement, he has two cannons to pretty much block off. He should be able to do pretty well. Meanwhile, Quanter now sending Zergs all, all over the place, making sure there's no hidden things, make sure Stork hasn't hidden any sort of tech or anything, just make sure he, that he controls the map, that he has full map positioning, but we're going to see whether, I believe he's now going for a hatcher after that spawning pool, yes indeed, so he's going to try to change it up into a quick, a quick tech build, although Stork now is going to have his Nexus coming up soon, it has been delayed a little bit, it's particularly due to that third cannon, and Stork playing very carefully, also has a few probes there to block, just in case I'm going to decide to try to come through, this is however not forthcoming from Quanro, one first gateway now coming up for Stork as well, so Stork is going to have that... Storkin is going to have those Corsairs out a little bit later than you usually like as a Zerg. He's not mining gas at this point yet. Should be getting his gas as soon as Cybernetics Corps starts coming up. Is expansion almost well, half about halfway there. Then he's going to start transferring his probes. Just going to keep those probes around <laughs> that expansion just to make sure he pr can prevent a run by and then probably just use those to mine as soon as that Nexus has come up. Get first gateway and almost thought we're going to see whether he builds the instant Zella to help block us off. Quanro has what looks like to be an idle drone there for a little bit, uh, assuming getting his expansion economy fully going, I'm not sure if he's building a Mazurk, he has some Zerglings running around, standing all over the place though to uh, get full positioning, to get full scouting, to know whether there are any scouts can be forthcoming from Stork. Hydra is dead actually now, Opera Quanro, didn't notice that, so he's gonna go to Hatchery Hydra, and he might be thinking of Lurker Tech, and of course Stork has not seen this yet, he's probably not gonna see this with the good scouting block that Quanro has Tom here, we haven't I haven't seen a lot of Zergs these days go for early Hydrolisks then early Hydrolis dens uh Stork not mining gas and getting a cybernetic score going should be seeing his first star get out fairly soon. More Zergs these days go for the uh three base three base three base spire into scourge into five hatch hydra and then try to break these protoss front but he's gonna go for a more old slightly more old school where you use the hydralisks uh well it's not really that old school since the piece we build isn't that old although it's more standard but the forge fast expand into stargate has of course early on was countered more by hydras and hydras of course can attack ground force as well as air force is not like scourge and you don't have to invest in the air layer quite as early as some process do no layers yet forthcoming from uh Quano, meanwhile he's just starting to build up a hydra force to see whether he adds a third hatchery he definitely should think about doing that soon not just getting a third hatchery as a production hatchery but more getting a getting a another base going target almost up in the of the dune also not coming up for stork so stork might be actually thinking of a good old standard bisu build here following something from his partner in the bork fusion for those of you who don't know what bork is it's a term coined by nuke which is the what if Bisu and Stork fused Dragon Ball Z style, they would create Bork, and Bork kills everybody but Flong, which is Flash and Jadon fused together. Quan are not actually getting a lot of economy at his uh, natural, just getting, has two, only two draws mining there, he might be actually thinking of breaking the front, he has some Zerglings going, some, some Hydras as well, nothing but a, a three Zealots, three Cannons, and a Dragoon to hold the front of Stork, that definitely th thinks Stork has enough to hold this one, first target, first Corsair, I'm sorry, now up, also a Cannon going inside the